I guess, uh, first of all, you've seen some of the images uh, from Rosetta. What are your feelings? Uh, elated, excited, anxious to see what comes next? Well, I, that's it. First, first feeling is that the, the reality is always much more beautiful than uh, what we think, uh, because we had a lot of uh, assumptions on what was that comet, and uh, each time we are taking new pictures, each time we discover something that we were not expecting. So, uh, so the, the, the first feeling is clearly that this is uh, so uh, so beautiful that uh, it was worth to go there. Uh, number two, it's clear that the surface is uh, far from being uh, smooth, and that the choice of the landing site uh, will be uh, important. Uh, selection uh, and we shall see where we uh, how we shall select the landing site on the 15th of September because uh, landing is another important uh, event for uh, for us even though the science will start uh, from now on and that 80 uh, percent of the science will be made from the orbiter uh, but but obviously we we wish to have also the uh, the lander safe on uh, on the surface of, of the comet and uh, and uh, landing on that comet will not be uh, so easy. And, and how long of a journey has it been, not only since launch, but you know, for decades, uh, getting the mission ready to fly? Oh yes, I, I think that the, the, the idea to go to a comet was coming from the uh, first mission to a comet, uh, which was the mission Gio2, uh, to the comet of Halley, and uh, that was in uh, uh, 86 or uh, something like that. And this was the starting point on the comet. It was so, so frustrating for Gio2 to, to have just an encounter of a couple of minutes and uh, that uh, the, the scientific community wanted to, uh, to know much more about the comet, meaning that it's uh, almost uh, 30 years that uh, the idea to, uh, to design and to, uh, to make Rosetta was, uh, is on board. It took uh, five years to uh, to study uh, what we could do, uh, ten years to develop, and another ten years to uh, for the travel. So uh, it's a long time and a long way, uh, meaning that the ones who were at the origin of the projects are uh, now retired. But uh, it's a demonstration that. Uh, the expertise uh, is continuing, uh, and uh, because uh, obviously to make this type of missions, you have to take risks because we are really uh, pushing the unknown, and, uh, and uh, we have to take risks. And uh, the only way to combine, uh, to reconcile risk and success, is the expertise and the expertise of uh, ESA, the expertise of industry and the expertise of the scientific community. How big of a deal is this for Europe to be the first uh, first mission to, to study a comet uh, this comprehensively? I think it's a, it's a, it's a fantastic demonstration uh, of uh, what Europe can do when uh, we are joining uh, forces, uh, because this uh, mission is to the 20 member states of ESA working together. And uh, it's also cooperation between ESA and some of the national agencies of our member states. So it's, uh, this is an extended family of ESA uh, demonstrating that uh, when we join forces, uh, when we have uh, challenging objectives, uh, we have the capacity to, uh, to make it because uh, nobody has done that before. Even NASA was thinking to do that, but uh, it seems that they felt that it was too difficult. We made it. And you have a some more exciting planetary missions to come. You have Bepi Colombo and uh, oh, yes. Mars. Uh, uh, we are everywhere in the solar system, and uh, we are around Mars. We are around uh, Venus. Uh, uh, we have been to uh, to the Moon. Uh, we shall go back to Mars uh, with ExoMars. We shall go to Mercury with uh, Bepi Colombo. Uh, we have landed on Titan with Huygens, and uh, meaning that uh, we are learning more and more about the solar system. And learning more and more about the solar system is to learn about planet Earth, because planet Earth is not just an isolated piece, uh, it's, a, it's a part of uh, a bigger uh, world, uh, which is the solar system and even beyond. So uh, uh, the best way to understand planet Earth is to understand also the solar system, and it's what we are doing. 
What do you think the atmosphere around here will be like uh, in November for the landing? Oh, I think that uh, it will be another of this fantastic event. I think that uh, because it's, it's very difficult. It looks easy. When you look at that, it looks so easy because uh, <laughs> uh, we... Uh, the. Uh, uh, the signal came exactly at the right time. Uh, everything was according to the plans, so it looks easy. Uh, while it's very difficult, and uh, and the only way to uh, to make difficult things uh, uh, looking easy, it's uh, again to have the best uh, expert of the world, and it's a lot of expertise and it's a lot of enthusiasm. Also, uh, I think that uh, all my colleagues are. Uh, so enthusiastic about this mission. No one uh, is ready to leave uh, that uh, that project because it's a fantastic project. And can you retire happy now that this is uh, so close to to, to being? Yes, I am happy of uh, of being at ISA. I must say that I shall regret to leave ISA. But obviously, I, I am not saying that I shall stay. So, but. Uh, uh, but it's clear that uh, during the, uh, my 12 years as Director General, I, have, uh, I could leave so many events, so uh, many fantastic events that uh, it's good to be at this end.